we do um, obviously interact with very vulnerable clients and travel from different health regions. The judge, Crown Counsel, Defense Counsel, the sheriff, the court clerk, witnesses, all of these people are often still required to be physically in the courthouse despite COVID-19. But only a portion of them have been told by the province they have priority access to a vaccine in BC. And some who are left out are fearful and frustrated. We're just wanting to ensure that uh, uh, there's a conversation that includes defense counsel as well. The BC Prosecution Service has confirmed to City News that personnel working in Vancouver were recently offered priority access to vaccinations. Cassandra Cronin is the chair of the Criminal Defense Advocacy Society, representing over 300 defense lawyers across BC. She says while it's great their colleagues are getting the vaccine, defense lawyers across our province are very confused as to why they have been left out, considering they are routinely in contact with the public, including high-risk populations. If I attend court, for instance, youth court, it's something that is really difficult to do remotely when you've got an, a vulnerable uh, youth who might be Indigenous or a person of colour or have other barriers and are vulnerable. Vancouver lawyer Kyla Lee says the difference in vaccine priority among the same group of professionals, lawyers practising in BC, just doesn't make sense. I was extremely shocked that this had happened, that it had not been communicated to the public at large, and that it hadn't been communicated to defence counsel or to sheriffs uh, or to other court staff that this was going on. We reached out to the Ministry of Health regarding Crown Council in Vancouver being given priority access to the vaccine. They referred us to Vancouver Coastal Health, who wrote back to us saying in part, courthouses and law firms are not included in the provincial list of priority frontline workers. However, some office sites may have been included in our at-risk business program. In such cases, invitations would go to those who regularly work at the identified address. Crown Council since roughly April, May, have been appearing by and large in courtrooms over MS Teams. They've not been attending courtrooms in person as often as they would have before the pandemic, and certainly not as often as Defence Council. As of now, the Criminal Defence Advocacy Society has penned a letter to Provincial Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry, asking to be considered for priority access to the vaccine, and they are waiting for a response. To ensure that we're protected, not just for ourselves, but also that we're protecting our clients. Ashley Burr, City News.